Hey, Chris McAndrew here, McAndrew Lawn Care, Nicholson, Georgia. Today I wanted to do a video and kind of show you guys our trailer setup. This is uh, for 2019, our truck and trailer setup. We actually have two crews right now, but it's mainly my wife and I and the other crew. And it's pretty much a repeat of what we have here. But this is our main setup for our guys. So let's get right to it. First of all, we've got a 6x14 foot trailer. When I talked to the trailer guy, he told me, always go a little bit bigger than what you think. So if you're kind of thinking like a 6x10, maybe go ahead and go with the 6x14 because this is the size you're going to need if you want to hold two zero turns on it. But even if you have one now, eventually you might move to two. So you might want to go ahead and get the 14 foot trailer so you can hold both your zero turns. We got two 920M John Deere 54 inch decks on here. This one's got the suspension seat, which is great. You can set this up based on your weight and you can move it forward and backwards there. It's a very comfortable seat, makes for a great ride. Not near as bumpy as the one that doesn't have it. On this one, we always carry a chain as well. If you get stuck in the mud, if you get stuck in a ditch or whatever, you gotta get out. If you got two mowers, you just attach this to one mower and attach it to the one that's stuck and you pull it on out. It also works if you've only got one mower, but then you're gonna have to take your trailer off and attach it to your truck and to the mower and pull it out that way. So that chain is a necessity in case you get stuck. All right, we'll come on up here. Of course, we got our sign with our logo on it. If you wanna have that, we've got it on both sides in the back of the trailer. Uh, in the actual cage here, we have two different gasoline cans. We got one, it's got the oil and gas mix. We use the bigger one for the oil and gas mix because almost everything uses oil and gas mix. So we want the bigger one for that. The smaller one's just got regular gasoline in it. And that's for the mowers if they run out of gas. One thing about the gas, when you're using the small equipment, handheld equipment, you always want to use ethanol free gas if you can find it. Pay a little bit extra for it. This might be, say, 50, 60 cents more a gallon, but it's well worth it. It keeps your carburetors from messing up on you. So always use your ethanol free gas for all the handheld equipment. All right, in the cage, we've got our tarp. You want to get a big one. Anytime you got to clean up and got to haul something off, this one's a 10 by 20. Want something around that size for your tarp. You always want to carry a chainsaw, a small chainsaw with you. And you have another one for bigger jobs, but you always want the small one, a 16 inch chain on it. This is a steel, of course. We run all steel equipment. This is an MS 180C chainsaw. Great to have if there's a little limb down or something you got to cut up or you got to cut down a little tree. You can make a little extra money with it, but you can also clear out areas if there's something in your way from mowing. So always carry a little chainsaw with you. Then we got the little handheld hedge trimmers. This is the HS45 steel. These are just small little ones. They're lightweight, I love it. They're cheap compared to the big ones. You know, you can get the really long ones, but they're really heavy and they wear the guys down. This one's really lightweight. You can do a lot of hedges with that without getting too worn out. So it's good to have a little one like that. Then we've got two combi units in here. You always wanna have a combi unit. This is the KM131R. It's a big, powerful unit and you can hook all kinds of stuff up to that. So we got all these different attachments for the combi unit. This is a bed edger. Whenever you lay down mulch or pine straw in somebody's yard, you want to edge around the outside of it. This does a beautiful job creating a nice edge for you. So you want to have that tool with your combi unit. And we have two of these, or the hedge trimmer attachments for the combi unit. This allows you to stretch up multiple feet above you and trim bushes that are way up above your head without having to carry a ladder around everywhere you go. And of course, when you do have a ladder, you can get even higher with this. We got two of these in here. And then of course, you want to have the handheld cloppers three of those have a spare weed eater head for your combi unit in case your weed eaters go down and you have a little saw that you can use for your combi unit also then we have a little extra oil in there and that's about it for that we'll move now over here to the back of the truck where we keep our blowers this keeps them out of the way so we can get our mowers in and out quick these are the steel 700s the br 700 they have an 800 now. This is the second most powerful that steel makes. They're very powerful blowers. Love them. Of course, you got to have a cooler in the back of your truck when you need something to drink. We fill it up. Our guys love Cokes, which doesn't make any sense to me, but they love the Cokes on hot days. And then, of course, you got to have water. Fill it up with ice. Carry that everywhere you go. We got these handheld sprayers, backpack sprayers. This is the steel SG20. I have three of these. We'll send all three of them out if we're gonna be doing a bunch of spraying that day. Uh, typically, we at least have one or two on the truck at all times. And then we have our push mower for any yards we can't get into with the 54 inch deck on the zero turns. We got the push mower for some backyards. We try to 
not take too many of those anymore, but on a rare occasion we do have one, so we went ahead and carry this with us. This is a Cub Cadet. When I went and got this at Tractor Supply, it had some kind of thing on it where it said guaranteed to start on the first pull for like the first three years or something crazy like that. And of course, I didn't believe it and figured that if we can get a year out of it, that'd be great. But we're on the third year, I think, now with it. And it literally does start on the first pull. So this is a great little push mower. You get one at Tractor Supply, it's a Cub Cadet. All right, we'll get into the cage now. This is the tool cage on the back of the truck here. This is where we keep all the random stuff. Stuff like a first aid kit. You want a first aid kit in case somebody gets injured out on any given job. We got our socket set, wrench set. Of course you have to have that. And just a lot of other random stuff. A level, some hand tools, wrenches, screwdrivers, oil, WD-40, off spray. Uh, you want sunscreen and kind of some just measuring tools, things like that. All right, we'll move now. Well, I guess we'll move back here and show the weed eater rack over here where we have an edger and two weed eaters. We always carry one edger and two weed eaters. These are both FS91R steels. These are great weed eaters. They usually come, I think, with a two-year guarantee. And our place, Harco, out of Jefferson, Georgia, they always repair it for free during those first two years when anything goes wrong with it. So that's great too. And hardly anything ever goes wrong with it. These are great weed eaters. And then up here we have the 111 FS 111 Edger. So now we'll move on up here. Of course we got the Ford F-150 pickup truck four door. I wanted the extra room in the back. Even if you have a two man crew, you got a lot of extra room to put some extra stuff or to have extra guys if you want to bring some other guys out. So it's really good to get the four door. This one also has the 5.4 liter V8. You have to have the V8 engine if you're hauling a big trailer around. Make sure you get a V8 engine in whatever vehicle you decide to get. Right now we have a couple oil pans in here, which normally we don't carry those around, but we got them in there. We got weed killer. We got a little antifreeze in case you run into a problem with the truck. Need some antifreeze. You want to carry some gloves. Always extra weed eater line to make sure you have a pair of scissors for that. Jumper cables, some extra weed eater heads. And my wife has set this up in an old cheese ball <laughs> plastic container, which works great for all your extra weed eater heads. And she goes ahead and pre-strings them, which is a great idea. You guys go ahead and get these things pre-strung. So when your guys are out working, they don't have to sit out there for 10 minutes, wasting time and stringing them up. They can just grab a new one throw it right on there really important here is an extra belt for your mowers I learned this lesson the hard way uh, when I was out had a belt go down on me John Deere was closed for the day Agpro was closed for the day I couldn't get a belt had to leave the yard half done had to go back out the next morning buy the new belt go back out to the yard huge waste of time plus you're paying your guys always carry an extra belt and teach your guys how to put it on right so they don't stay out there fiddling around with a lot we got our wasp and hornet spray those of you like me who are allergic to wasp that's very important and of course sunscreen always want to use that and uh, scissors like I was talking about earlier to cut your weed eater straight all right up front we have seat covers on everything wife's idea again Great idea, it helps protect your seats when the guys get in all dirty. Got some sweat rags in here. Work great when it's hot out. A couple keys for the mower. Keys for the equipment. Notebook, keep track of everybody's hours. And pens, always wanna have pens. And then in the middle console, I keep a bunch of extra business cards. So that way the guys can hand these out. If somebody, a neighbor comes over and says, hey, I want my yard cut, here's my boss's card. Give him a call and he'll come out and take a look at it for you. So there's a look at our trailer set up for 2019. And of course, uh, safety glasses, my wife is reminding me. You always wanna have your safety glasses. And we got extras of those always in there. You wanna have some clear extras also. Because when it gets to be nighttime, you don't want any sun, uh, you don't want your sunglasses anymore. You can't see anything, so you want some clear ones in your middle console. All right, anything else, Heather? All right, 
Heather says that's it, so we're done. Thanks for watching the video. This is our trailer setup 2019. Comment below if you got any ideas or things I'm missing, leaving out. Give me some ideas. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.